call Halal, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukal Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom and salutation to the hopeful elect, the Akim out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth for sincerity and truth, risking their lives to freedom to do so, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice. All right, Shalom to them. Shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well. This is the brother Yahweh Meyer from the Great Millstone Chicago camp. Basically coming to you with another lesson, man, concerning some madness I seen, man. On the internet, <clears throat> you got these Jewish people talking about, and they don't even believe in the New Testament. They don't believe in uh, prophecy. Christians don't believe in prophecy. This is uh, Judeo Christian uh, uh, bullshit, all right? Talking about some, this is the first red calf. This is Bible prophecy. Uh, this is the first red calf. This is what they said, not me. This is, the, you can look it up. This is the first red calf to uh, be spotted in uh, 2,000 years, to, to have birth in 2,000 years, uh, basically in the Holy Land. What the he saw just fucking weird, man. So uh, basically meaning that that's, that's fulfilling biblical prophecy. Or well, biblical prophecy going to get fulfilled because of that. Hey, look, biblical prophecy going to get fulfilled because the Lord did it. It's going to fulfill biblical prophecy whether you like it or not. And speaking about them building the third temple, look, y'all can't build the third temple. We're out here building the third temple right now. Matter of fact, let me get to this. We are the house of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, the Israelites. And when I say the Israelites, I'm speaking about the blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. All right, the elect of those, starting with the elect of those men. All right, because these are the men you see going out. These are the men you see going out building the house anyway. We're doing the work. All right, and you heathens are trying to come against it. Here it is. You got all this Bible prophecy that's really Bible prophecy, all right, right in your face. Hey, and one of those biggest prophecies is the sign, the sticks being, why, why ain't you putting on the news and on Facebook how so many Native American Indian descent, Negro descent, and Latin, Latin American, Latin, Latino descent, men are going out here to the street corners prophesying the word, all right? That, that's the, the fulfilling of Bible prophecy, and that, that's the third temple being built. But y'all ain't talking about that, but it's obvious y'all watch this. We know y'all watch us. All right. This is Amos 9 and 11. And that day I will raise up. Matter of fact, let me get Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. The evil shall, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And because two thirds of Israel are going to be fucking destroyed. All right. I had to get that out of the way. <laughs> all right. Because all them ain't going to make it. Why this is in, in, in this, in this. This spiritual ark, all right, this temple that's being built on the first uh, round draft pick anyway, man. All right, they're not even part of the house of the Lord, let alone you heathens. All right, they heathens just like you motherfuckers on this side. All right, this is Amos 9 and 11. And that day I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. And this house is... Uh, being built like that this that's how this house is being built it's, it's a spiritual house being built it all right it's a spiritual ark being built it build it all right so forth and so on uh, this is uh first peter 2 and 5 it says wherefore i also wherefore also it's contained in the scripture behold i will lay zion i will lay in zion the chief cornerstone and leg precious he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. So Yahweh Shai is the chief cornerstone to this new house, this 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 new temple that's being built. All right. It said unto you, therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them he is dis, dis but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same as they made the head cornerstone, and a stone a, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. Even to them that stumble at the word, being disobedient, wherein too they are appointed. All right, and you you see that a lot because Yahweh Shai, hey, he, he's a he's a building stone and he's also a stumbling block. All right, because these people can't get it, they can't get the breakdowns. All right, they can't get the knowledge of the Lord. Hey, because they're not part of the house of the Lord that's being built. All right, these heathens will never get it, and then on this side, the two thirds of Israel will never get it. But the, but ultimately they'll be in the kingdom. All right, they'll be part of the, 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 the house, so to speak. But, but, but having a goddamn red cow, a red heifer, 
being born, and 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 and, 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 and that's a sign of end time prophecy. Man, that ain't in the scriptures. That's folly. All right, that don't mean anything. All right, and and, and say that is the case. That just mean you, hey, you eat all, you eat them like perverts. All right, you play with animals, man. You you have a, a whole place in the Holy Land, and hey, you ain't the people of the Lord either, man. You have a whole place in the Holy Land called Pink City, man. You eat them like have sex with cows and pigs, and things of that sort. Where in the hell in the scripture? And there wasn't one scripture in the article does it say. After 2,000 years, a red heifer going to be born. And this is the end time prophecy. You people are sick, man. Uh, us, us going out to, to the, to the uh, highways and the byways, that's end time prophecy, man. All right? That's the house of the Lord being built. That's the kingdom of God right before your eyes. That's what the kingdom of God is. Does not the scripture say uh, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force? Matter of fact, uh, this is uh, Luke 17 and 20. It said, and when he was uh, uh, de demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of Yahweh should come, he answered and said to them, the kingdom of God coming not with observation. And that, that's what they're doing. Oh, oh, look, this thing is happening. Oh, look, that, that thing is happening. Oh, oh, where is it at? It's right here being built before your eyes. All right. Starting with the, 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 the Holy Spirit. All right, being breathed back into us. All right, and us getting out here and doing the work. Verse 21, it says, Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there. Behold, the kingdom of God is within you. All right, and it's not within you, you, you Jewish people. All right, it's not within you, Israeli people. All right, you people are clean contrary to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You have nothing to do with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has nothing to do with you. All right, you're just a left hand tool and the sword that was used to punish the Israelites. All right, over there in our land. Now, now the land has to be purged. All right, to get your wickedness out of it. Matter of fact, let me get a scripture. Because uh, these people being scattered and being brought back together, this is Bible prophecy. This is end time prophecy. Hey, when did the end time start according to the scriptures? You all don't know that. You all don't know that. You, you fucking Christians. You fake preachers. You, 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 you uh, so-called rabbis. This is Luke 21 and 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and, be led, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trotted down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Hey, you could build whatever the hell you want to build right now. That that's hey, that's being trotted down. That's that you all being over there, existing over there, just even being in the Holy Land when we went to slavery. Like I said, y'all led us captive by the edge of the sword. You being over there, that's just fulfilling that, man. Jerusalem is being trotted down of the Gentiles. Right now, you got the Arabs over there. You got the Jewish bastards over there. You got some Hamites over there. You got a couple two thirds over there anyway. That ain't even got no damn business being over there right now. All right? That's the only prophecy y'all feeling. Y'all, you build 50 fucking clubhouses, man. You build whatever the hell you want to try to build. Hey, man, the Lord going to destroy that, man. He said the elements shall melt away with fervor and heat, man. Everywhere the Lord send them nukes, the ICBM missiles, man, they're going to be destroyed. Everywhere the so-called uh, 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 white man is, all right, who is the devil according to the Bible, it's going to be destroyed, man. Though they build up, the Most High going to tear it down, man. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't going to deal with this, man. Y'all talking about some third temple, man. Get the hell out of here, man. You wasn't in the first temple. You wasn't in the second temple. And you damn sure ain't part of the third temple, man. You a heathen. You scoffing. Just like in the book of Ezra. With, um, uh, Ezra with, with Sam Ballot. All right, when they were scoffing at Nehemiah and them. That's all y'all doing. Y'all watching us build and y'all scoffing, man. Got a damn problem, man. And the Lord is about to get rid of you, man. Y'all ain't building nothing, man. Hey, in, in y'all stronghold, all right, America is decaying day by day by day. All right? Because this is what you heathens do, man. 
you, you, you heap up stuff and you enlarge your desires hell, like it says in the book. You watching the house of the Lord being built before your eyes. Hey, now run till that. This is uh, Psalms 49 and 11. That inward thought is that the houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call lands after their own names. And that's how you got lands like America, Africa, Asia, so forth and so on. All these are the names of the so-called white men. And, and he's over there in our land, hey, even calling himself Jewish and Israeli. But I pointed out, to point this out, the so-called white man thinks he's going to go on forever, man. And the Bible says different. All right, because our Messiah is coming. He is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, according to the Bible. That's only coming to say the blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. All right, his brethren, according to Genesis, and it's going to start with him according to Genesis, the 49th chapter. They're going to reign forever and ever. They're going to have scepters in their hands, Psalms 2 and 8. All right, Revelations 2 and 26. Hey, man, so y'all just get ready, man, and leave the Bible to the big boys. Hey, but with that being said, call aloud you how about shit me, how a shot, by shim, with crocodile, double honor to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, and shallow one to the hopeful elect. Shallow one.